So Connor, into the next round of the FA Cup, how did you find last weekend's game? Uh, this, I think we spoke about before, we didn't take chance with lightly, I think that we showed that with the selection. Rotated a couple of lads, but yeah, tried to keep the continuity of the team going. Obviously, the, the form were in, it's nice to keep that momentum going. I think we've done that really well. And Chelsea were a good side. I think they, they started brighter than us, but once we got to grips with the game and, and got control, um, we had too much of them. But really good club. I look like their managing team, really fond of them. And you don't come in the top three um, for a couple of seasons in the cell if you're not doing well. So they're an excellent side, and we knew it'd be a tough test, and it proved to be that for the majority of the game. We've drawn League One Exeter City in the next round away from home. What are your sort of feelings around that? Tough draw. Um, listen, you can't control it, can you? It is a tough draw, of course. You'll have some fans that want a Birmingham City or the biggest club in it, or you'll want some fans that maybe want the lowest ranked team in it. But listen, whatever it is, it is um, we fancy ourselves on any given day against any team um, within the draw. So if we can be at our A again, we know it'll be a good game. But they're flying as well. I watched their game last night. They're doing, they're excellent. Really, really good side. Play very similar to ourselves in terms of their style of football. And, Gary Caldwell's doing an unbelievable job there. Um, as I said last night, they were excellent away at Shrewsbury. So good to good to that was on TV the way it fell. But um, yeah, tough draw, but one that we're relishing, and it's a great opportunity for the lads to go and show themselves against against some really good players. Yeah, and the gaffer sort of said after after the last match that obviously the aspirations of us being an EFL team that surely sounds like a good test now to face a top opposition like Exeter. Of course, listen. We've got a lot of our players that maybe think they should be in the play in the league or for whatever reason or not, or they think they can get to that level and they aspire to get to that level. So it's a great test for them and obviously us as a club and a management team as well. It's all, it's the same, it's a great test. So this it's it's as I said, you, there's a lot of draws that probably become that be better for us, whether it be easier or or big ties or a big fan base or whatever it may be. But it's a it's a good draw to test ourselves against. And as I said, they're flying high in League One and doing really well with, with a good style of football and the good thing about them is they've signed a lot of lads from our level. Obviously, Milinic Ali and Ed Francis have come out of non-league as well as others. So it just shows there is quality players at this level and that have gone on and done really well at that level. And we'll obviously have some that want to do the same for themselves. So it's an important test for us. Moving on to Saturday now, injury updates. What what can you tell us about any any potential returns? Um, just trying to think now. We've obviously got Billy. Billy's had more sessions. Danny Collins has been back training. I, I believe it'll be too soon from this week, though. He's he's obviously been out for a sustained period, so he'll need a bit to get up to speed. But yeah, listen, the injuries are coming back. We know that they're gradually coming back. We have uh, Brownies outside on the grass running today, um, so he's obviously working his way back up to full fitness now as well. So we're we're getting there of injury, we're getting bodies back, and we we're hopeful that we can keep continually making the same selection, which obviously will stand us good stead in our consistency. Solihull are the opponents. What can you tell us about them? Really good side, really good side. They're always up for for the most part in the last four or five years. They've been up the top end. Um, really, really big fan of their management team. Uh, Wingy's doing an excellent job. Obviously, you see that from getting to the playoff final and the FA Trophy final last year. So doing a brilliant job. They're really well organised, really well drilled, and got some exciting players as well. So it's always a tough place to go and always a tough team to play against. And to be fair to Wingy, I think they they've had a lot of injury problems, but they got lads starting to come back. So um, I think you'll see them work their way up the table because, as I said, great great set of players and a great manager in charge as well and great management team. So we know how tough a test it's going to be. They played into extra time in midweek, extra time in penalties against against Altrincham in the cup. Do you think that might have any bearing on Saturday, or do you think it's just another game? No, I don't think so. I think that um, they rotated a couple anyway, and to be honest, for them, with lads coming back from injury, it might have been helpful for them to get some extra minutes into some of the boys that needed it. So, listen, there's no whatever happened in the last few days has happened it has nothing to do with no bearing on our game. So we'll prep it as we always do. And I'm sure they'll recover properly. Obviously, being being an established club, and they'll do everything properly to be ready for the game as well. So it'll be another tough test. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, guys.